morning from Bangkok. It's a especially busy morning today. We are heading out to the airport again. We are uh, flying to Chiang Rai and grabbing some breakfast. I'm psyched. All right, off to the airport now. Chetrium. It was lovely. Bangkok Airport was one of the most impressive airports I've ever been to. I mean, just look at this. They have parks built right inside of the airport. So, check in went great so far. Um, baggage drop off was a bit well, tricky. We were concerned we had 5 kilo overweight, so. Well, Bangkok Air was cool about it, so I guess we're good then. Uh, flight got delayed half an hour, so we'll be a bit later there than we thought. But I guess we're good now, so heading to the lounge. Today I want to talk about airlines. Since we've been traveling a lot with planes, I wanted to give you guys kind of like a comparison on different airlines. So, we've been flying with Bangkok Airways with Thai Airways and Air Asia. Okay, if I had to rank the three airlines, Thai Airlines would be definitely in the first place. And I'm going to tell you why. Thai Air you can kind of compare with Lufthansa. So you have very good service, the food is great and you have a lot of space. With Bangkok Airways we weren't expecting much to be honest but we got really surprised because we got decent food it was actually delicious we got drinks on the plane and we weren't charged for anything traveling with air asia i've never been on a plane where they use the overtop compartments as um, advertising space and that's pretty much that says everything because we did not get any food, we did not get any drinks. Um, the space to the next row is like not existent. So <laughs> if you're taller than 183, you'll definitely not enjoy this flight. It's obviously your choice when you're traveling which airline you choose, but in Thailand, sometimes you have to rely on the cheaper airlines. If I remember it correctly, we paid for our Air Asia flight nearly 50 euros or so. So the flights are pretty cheap, but the downside is you don't get the service and you're still flying one and a half hours to get from point A to point B. So keep that in mind when you choose your airline. Welcome to Chiang Rai. We arrived at a lovely place called Catalia Mountain Resort. Nice place. Food is not so good as you would expect from a five-star um, hotel but it's kind of okay the rooms are clean water is warm so and the park around the hotel is just awesome quick heads up maybe you noticed in the vlog that my voice kind of changed and this is because I caught a flu or something so yeah prepare for some illness in the next episodes you have to pack a lot of medicine i'm pretty sure they have good hospitals and so on 
but I'm also sure that you're not wanting to go to the next pharmacy or to the next doctor if you don't have to. It's way easier if you go to a travel doctor before you take off and they'll describe you any antibiotics and whatever you need in that area of the world so it will help you definitely on your journey. Thank you.